Germany has unveiled a new tank in over 40 years. The KF-51, or the Panther, is equipped with the latest tech, a larger main gun, the latest computer, and a comprehensive array of defensive capabilities. Notably, the Panther possesses the capacity to effectively counter top attack munitions, such as the Javelin missile. It can also control both unmanned aerial vehicle and unmanned ground vehicles. Is this tank capable enough to take on Russia's next-generation T-14 Armada tank? Let's dive right into and find out which tank is superior. The Germany's KF-51 is designed and developed by Rheinmetall Land System. On June 13, 2022, it was presented to the general public for the first time. The hull of the Leopard 2 serves as the foundation for the KF-51, which features a new turret that is armed with an auto-loaded 130mm caliber main gun. While T-14 is based on Russia's Armada Universal Combat Platform, it is intended to take the place of the aging Russian tanks. The tank is equipped with a 125mm main gun, an unmanned turret, modular armor, and an active protection system. One particularly dangerous feature is the Armada's ability to destroy targets at ranges of up to 7.4 miles. The KF-51 Panther is currently in the early stages of development as full-scale production has not been started yet, while serial production of Armada has already been started. It has been deployed in Syria. It is possible that the tank was deployed in Ukraine as well. Unfortunately, there is currently no evidence to support this claim. The Panther is a powerful software-driven tank that excels at gathering and sharing information on a multi-domain battlefield. The system is equipped with modern software-based communication systems that allow for seamless sensor-to-shooter links across different platforms. The Panther can control both onboard and offboard drones, as well as loitering ammunition and uncrewed ground vehicles. The fully digitized system and common crew stations facilitate human-machine teaming and enable control of wingman UGVs that can perform platoon-level air and drone defense. On the other side, the Armada boasts a cutting-edge, fully autonomous target designation and firing system, along with advanced smart projectile protection. Armada is often referred to by Russians as an armored combat computer. This tank is packed with advanced electronics and autonomous systems, allowing for seamless automation of many functions that can be easily controlled by the crew. The Panther's primary weapon, called the Future Gun System, includes a 130mm smoothbore cannon. It can fire next-generation kinetic energy shells, programmable multi-purpose high-explosive rounds, and loitering ammunition. The tank is equipped with a pre-shot detection capability, allowing it to have the advantage of striking first. This system outperforms the 120mm guns with its optimized sensor-to-shooter links, resulting in a 50% longer firing range and a superior rate of fire thanks to its autoloader performance. This results in a three-man crew consisting of the tank commander, gunner, and driver. The autoloader has a capacity of 20 rounds, while the gun can annihilate its target from a distance of 3.7 miles. The German tank is equipped with a 12.7mm coaxial machine gun positioned alongside the main gun. Unlike the small caliber guns found on older tanks, this gun is larger and heavier. A remote-operated weapon station can be mounted on the rear of the turret to provide close-in defense and a counter-unmanned aircraft system capability. The tank can also be armed with a 7.62mm machine gun. The Panther can be equipped with the loitering drones. On the other hand, the Armada's main weapon is a 125mm smoothbore gun. The Russians assert that the Armada's cannon boasts superior accuracy compared to the 120mm gun mounted on the Leopard 2 tank. This gun is capable of firing guided missiles with an impressive range of 7.4 miles. The secondary armament includes a 12.7mm machine gun loaded with 300 rounds and a 7.62mm gun with a capacity of 1,000 rounds. These guns are remotely controlled. In addition, another 1,000 rounds can be stored separately. The tank could also be modified to mount a 30mm anti-aircraft gun. The Panther is believed to be powered by the V12 diesel engine, generating around 1,500 horsepower. The tank's top speed has not been disclosed yet. It has an impressive operational range of 311 miles without needing to refuel, and it boasts a combat weight of 59 tons. 
Similarly, the Armada is equipped with a diesel engine that can generate 1,500 horsepower. At the same time, the Armada's engine can reach a top speed of 56 miles per hour and has a range of 311 miles before needing to refuel. The tank weighs around 48 tons. Comparatively, the Armada has a higher power-to-weight ratio. The Panther utilizes an innovative, fully integrated, weight-optimized survivability concept. In addition to classic measures, the tank's digital architecture enables on- and off-board survivability. The Panther is configured with a pre-shot capability, enabling it to strike first. The tank comes with sensors and cameras for 360 degrees of protection. The system includes both onboard and offboard defense systems, such as integrated unmanned aerial vehicle and unmanned ground vehicles. The Panther is equipped with the top attack protection system, which effectively neutralizes threats from above. The rosy smoke obscurance system is included as part of the survivability. One of the most impressive features is the active KE protection, which enhances protection levels without adding extra weight to the tank. The Panther is fully shielded to operate on a battlefield with a highly contested electromagnetic spectrum. On the other hand, the Armada also includes active and passive defense systems. Although it may require external measures for protection against top attacks, it lacks in controlling offboard UAVs and UGVs. The tank crew is well protected inside a bulletproof capsule, enhancing their safety. Every tank is equipped to effectively engage in an electromagnetic conflict. As always, this MBT comes equipped with NBC protection and automatic fire suppression systems. Armada comes with the Afghanit active protection system. However, the initial deployment of this system encountered performance issues that caused delays for full deployment. This new Russian tank is equipped with state-of-the-art smoke grenade dischargers. The German tank has an impressive specification sheet. The Panther has every chance of winning a one-to-one -one battle against the Russian tank, if the final tank is made as promised. However, the final version seldom matches the initial prototype and specifications perfectly, as unforeseen challenges often necessitate adjustments during serial production, whereas Armada has been tested in Syria and probably in Ukraine. Its serial production has been started. If it is upgraded with a 152mm main gun, along with UAVs and UGVs, then it'd be a game changer as it'd tilt the balance in favor of Armada. That's a wrap on the comparison of these two incredible future tanks. What do you think about these two tanks? Drop your comments in the section below to share your opinions. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest videos.